What's up, Canucks fans? Welcome back to another prospect report here for Canucks Army. My name is Chris Faber, and today we are talking about the number five prospect in the Vancouver Canucks' system, left winger Aiden McDonough. Aiden McDonough turns 23 in November. He was drafted by the Vancouver Canucks in the seventh round of the 2019 NHL entry draft, stands at six foot three, 200 plus pounds, and he is most famous for that electric shot that he has showcased in the NCAA over the past three seasons. Looking at what he did last year, it was an exceptional year for McDonough in the NCAA. He put up 25 goals and 14 assists for a total of 39 points in 38 games with Northeastern and the Huskies. Something that he has to improve on before he gets to the next level is his skating, and that has been something that he has been working on for the past few years. It's clear that McDonough already has a shot that looks like it's ready for pro hockey. He shows well on the power play, being an absolute menace from the right side with the one-timer that he has, as well as coming in on breaks with the wrist shot. We got a chance to see how that shot stuck out at development camp. He was one of the best players when it came to just shooting the puck and being able to put it in the back of the net. For that reason, that's why he's coming in at number five on our list. There's a lot to like about McDonough. Obviously, the offense is something that we clearly enjoy watching when we are watching tape on the big winger. Something that needs to work on is the skating. We touched on it a little bit. He needs to work on that stride being a little bit more fluid, and that's something that we have seen over the past couple of years. It was only last offseason when he started working with the skating coach for the first time, and it's made a massive difference in his game, and you could clearly see the offense grow at 5-on-5 five five last year at Northeastern. In his rookie season of the NCAA, it was all about the power play. That's where he scored pretty much all of his goals in his freshman season. He developed in his sophomore to be a better five-on-five -five player, and last year in his junior year was really where he blossomed and was able to just be a five-on-five -five competitor in the offensive zone, in the defensive zone, being able to round out his game. And now heading back for his senior season at Northeastern, it's kind of the final showcase for him before he goes pro. It's something that we've talked about with him in the offseason. This is the year for him to commit to becoming a professional player. Obviously, he wants to have a good season with Northeastern. You're going to end up seeing him be the captain for the Huskies this fall. And that's obviously a huge honor for the 23-year-old who looks like he's ready to make the jump to pro hockey by the end of the season. There was a lot of discussion on if he was going to go pro at the end of last year. And ultimately, he decided to go back for his fourth year in the NCAA. Coming out, he should be a 24-year-old, well-rounded prospect who likely isn't going to be on this list for much longer because of the age and the situation that he'll likely find himself in next year. We're going to see if he's going to be able to jump into pro. We expect to see it sometime in April when the NCAA season ends up wrapping up. And he should be able to jump right into the AHL and be an impact player on the power play for sure. And hopefully the skating has improved well enough that he can be a guy that jumps into the AHL and looks like he fits in with the speed of the professional game. Now we've been high on McDonough for quite a while now. The shot has always been something that has impressed us. But what we've really liked over the past couple of years is him making a commitment to improving the weaker parts of his game. The skating has definitely improved and it's something that we want to see continue to develop as he goes into the year as the captain for Northeastern. He's a guy who's definitely going to contribute on the power play, but we'd like to see him potentially get some time on the penalty kill and just be a better 5-on-5 five -five contributor at moving the puck in the right direction, being better with his possession numbers, and continuing to be a leader at Northeastern. Having the C on his chest is definitely a big boost, and we expect to see him be one of the biggest leaders and biggest scorers in the NCAA this season. He finished the year second in goals last year for all of the NCAA in college hockey, and the expectation now is, is Hobie Baker, which is for the best player in the NCAA, and this is probably a goal for him looking forward into next season. He finished with 25 goals. The leading scorer in college hockey last year had 26. The expectation should be for him to be one of the guys that is in the top three once again this year. When his season concludes, we expect him to hop right into pro. And when we see what he looks like in the AHL, that's when we can really get an assessment on what his NHL potential is. He comes in at number five on our list because of the big body, the great shot, and the excitement from us to see what he looks like as a pro. We won't have to wait much longer as he should be in the lineup for the Canucks very soon, likely in Abbotsford at the end of this season, but potentially even getting a sniff at the NHL depending on how his season goes and how the Vancouver Canucks' this season goes. So that wraps it up for our number five prospect, Aiden McDonough, coming in, the big winger at number five on our list. Continue to follow along as we wrap up with the final four prospects here on our Canucks Army prospect rankings. For Canucks Army and the Nation Network, I'm Chris Faber.